Salutations, and welcome to Kirby Plays Games. This is Seven Days to Die, and we are back for Day 21 of the Snow Biome Survival Series. And for those of you who are seasoned survivors, you will know that that means that the Horde is going to be showing up this evening. And I've got some pretty exciting news. I've decided to hold nothing back and increase the number of zombies that are showing up to the maximum which is uh, 64 in the settings. And I figure we might as well go big or go home. I want to either get enough experience to not have that be an issue, or uh, go out with one hell of a fight. Since we are going to push it to the limit, I was hoping to make some grenades. And it looks like our gunpowder is done just in time. Oh wow, that's not bad at all. It's a lot of springs, but eh, we can manage. Probably rather have them than not have them. Since we have more gunpowder than anything else, magnum ammo and uh, 7.62 millimeter ammo make the most sense to me. And I like to make a little chest right next to my um, ammo crafting station just to keep all of that organized. You can see here too that I've gone ahead and made this bunker a little bit more secure still considering putting a ceiling in just in case they decide to come through the top but actually now that we have the ammo and everything cooking i'd really love to go and secure <gasps> oh i almost opened the door up for these zombies i was gonna say i'd really like to go secure some stone maybe i'll deal with these folks first and our goal today is 100% going to be just getting ready for the horde that is incoming. Couldn't even wait for the cement to dry. Very rude. Oh, one of them broke my leg. I'm uh, pretty sure we have a splint for that. Oh, maybe it was just a sprain. Oh well. Sounds like there's some more zombies. Maybe we'll just uh, make our way upstairs and face them in the open field of battle. Or just, just the one that's left over, I guess. Just trying to figure out how to get down. Anyone else around? figure the easiest way to get stone is probably just to go into the mine and start gathering some coal and iron. The coal might allow us to make a bit more gunpowder as well, so probably not a bad idea. Sometimes the augers bring screamers, I've noticed, but I haven't had that problem yet. Hopefully I don't jinx it. All right, so let's get some more uh, concrete cooking. And while we're at it, we might as well get some more gunpowder cooking as well. It 
Definitely want this internal bunker to be as secure as possible. And this is looking pretty good so far. I've given it some thought and I've decided I do want to put a very modest roof up. Alright, that feels more secure already. For those of you who have seen the uh, Hordenate Retrospective series, you'll know that I've run into quite a bit of trouble with floors collapsing under exploding zombies and demolishers and explosives. So that is part of why I am making sure to get a nice strong floor. Gotta have a good solid foundation. This is definitely looking better. And part of why I'm bolstering the outer defenses so much is because I want to try to buy the electric fences as much time as possible um, because they only last so long. And oh, look at that. Look at all that ammo. Just wonderful. Ha <laughs> ha. We are looking in pretty good shape. I would say. Not a ton of arrows, so I don't know if we'll even bother with the bow. Looks like we're going to be a little bit short on brass. Not much we can do about that. And we've got to make sure we keep enough uh, concrete on hand to do all the repairs that are going to be necessary. I'm really not sure what to expect because I have never put the settings to uh, maximum number of enemies for the Blood Moon. Pretty curious what you folks think will happen. Let me know in the comments if you think that we will make it or if we will die horribly. I'm going to take the recog out just so we do not forget that. If there was ever a time to use it. I want to get all of the cement done as early as I can so it has a chance to dry. Oh, this is intimidating. Since I've gone to all this trouble, I think I might do another little barricade kind of right here. Just to have as many fallback points as possible. got really quiet. Yeah, looking at this from here, that, that already looks better. More secure. Yes, I think this will do just fine. This nail gun is actually fantastic. It has saved me a ton of time with these upgrades. And it feels like it is about time to start getting ready for the Horde Knight. Going to start pulling out the weapons and things that I feel like I'll need. I don't know if all of this ammo and whatnot will be done in time for Horde Knight. We might have to make do with what we have. Just making sure I'm super hydrated, super fed, 
in terms of medical supplies heck we might as well bring out all the big guns get the painkillers going the first aid kits going everything we could possibly need We actually have a, a fair number of arrows, but I'm gonna stand by what I said before. I don't feel like we need them at the moment. We do have a ton of ammo though, which is very, very encouraging. Yeah, it feels like it got real quiet. That makes me feel like I need to start preparing. Well, we're just gonna take the best of the best since we are doing the horde. Make sure not to forget our learning elixir. And we're gonna have even more ammo. Very, very exciting. And I think we'll come back and get the pipe bombs if we really need them. The grenades should do just fine for us. And I do like to leave a couple of stacks of ammo in the bin just in case I get too excited and need to run back and grab some more. So I think then we just need to figure out what else we got here. I guess we'll take Grandpa's Moonshine out for a spin. Might as well. And we really don't have anything too awesomely appetizing. So I'm just gonna take some of these emergency rations out because they are not going to give us food poisoning. And what I'll do is I'll just, I'll pop a uh, vitamin. Yeah, that's, I think that's what I'll do. I'll just pop a vitamin right before it starts. Lamb rations, that sounds yummy. So yeah, we'll keep the lamb rations on us. Before I do anything else, I have three skill points available. More headshot damage is not a bad idea. And this is what we're working towards anyways. So I'm just gonna spend the points there sort of preemptively. There isn't that much more to do, and that's good because the horde will be here pretty soon. So I'm going to continue preparing for the horde. Hopefully the ammo finishes cooking in time. And hopefully this final layer of cement dries in time. But that is going to be it for this episode. But don't worry because we will be back for the actual horde night. And we will see if I am able to survive. Thank you very much for joining me for this episode. As I mentioned, let me know in the comments if you think that this is going to go well or if it's going to go terribly. Make sure to come back and see how the Horde Knight plays out in the next episode. And as always, have an excellent day.